Firstly, you will need a suitably large CSV file. For the purpose of this demonstration, this is a CSV file from a customer who has said that they are unable to upload this to the keyword system within our software. You can see here it's 56.4 megabytes, so it's quite large, and takes a few moments to load in our spreadsheet software. When dealing with any CSV file that we want to bring into the keyword system, it's really important that we don't have any blank columns or rows, and that our column names are only comprised of letters, hyphens, underscores, or numbers. So in this example, we'll make some alterations and we'll call this village. We'll call this office name. We'll call that sub dist name, district name, state name. Capitalization doesn't matter. That's perfectly fine. Depending on your spreadsheet software, you will need to either save or export this to a CSV format. It's always recommended to use Unicode. We'll now look at bringing that CSV data into Page Generator Pro. You'll notice there is an import CSV option. However, for particularly large files, such as the one that we're demonstrating here, this isn't suitable. Therefore, you'll need to use the add keyword functionality. And under source, you have two options, CSV file or CSV URL. We strongly recommend the CSV URL option as this isn't constrained by WordPress's upload limit file size. You may wish to try CSV file and then choose the file from your media library, upload the file and select it, but you may find, such as in this case, that your website's maximum upload file size is smaller than the size of the CSV file we would recommend using a service such as splitcsv.com. This allows you to upload your large CSV file and split it into a number of smaller files, which can then be imported into the software's keyword system. So here we've gone ahead and uploaded our large CSV file. And once that's uploaded, we'll click on split options, click cancel, and for the limit, in this case, because we know we've got approximately 900,000 records, we will limit our files to 100,000 lines per file. We'll click on Output Details, Advanced Options, and Confirm Order. You'll need to enter an email address and click the Split button and you'll see that your split is processing. And normally within a few seconds, you'll see a screen like this with a download button. We'll go ahead and click on that. And this will download a zip file, which we can expand by opening it, comprising of your large CSV file split into a number of smaller files. We'll now go ahead and upload the first one of these. And we can see this time it successfully uploads. Click select and we'll give it a name. Because there are columns in the first row, we tick this option and for CSV files, the delimiter is typically a comma and we'll click save. We can see the keyword save successfully and you'll see a preview of the data below. We'll then repeat this process for the other keywords. And in this example, we'll show you how the second one works. We'll click CSV file upload the file, select it, enable columns in first row and define the delimiter as the comma, click on save and after a few moments we should see the results. So again you can see the continuation of the data here from our second file. When we come to build our content group I would recommend for your first group you build everything as you require, whether you're using a page builder for your layout, defining title, text, etc. And you'll see when we start to specify keywords, we have both CSV1 and 2 here. So for example, if I do pin code and then some con 
content about village comma pin code. And I'll define a permalink. If I were to then generate all of the pages from this group, I could then come back into this content group, change this keyword for large CSV2. Alternatively, and a better way would be to duplicate the group. You can click the duplicate option there and then edit the duplicated group, remove the word copy and put the number two instead of one. Across our permalink content and title and click update and if we go back to our list of content groups you can now see that we have two content groups that are the same in terms of content the only difference being the keyword with our first and second keywords referencing our first and second keywords here